we have arrived. Let's go! Lanka! Lanka! <laughs> What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Alex, aka Alex the Vagabond. This is my wife, Carrie Rad. Hello! And our fur child, Lucky Lanka. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing the journey of how Lanka got here, and hopefully, this video can be helpful for all of you out there who are considering moving abroad and bringing your pet. Let's get into it. <laughs> oh my god, he's smiling so big. Yeah, you're happy boy, huh? Before we get started, I wanted to say a big thank you to all of you returning subscribers. And I also would like to politely ask if you are a new viewer here, please consider hitting that subscribe button because you're gonna miss out on some new videos. So for those of you who watch my channel, you probably already know I'm a dual citizen of the United States and of New Zealand, and Carrie and I have been planning on moving here for many years. What we weren't really planning on was bringing a dog with us. Initially, before we found Lanka, we were traveling a lot, and the idea of getting a dog was something that we always dreamed of, but something that also kind of seemed a little bit impractical and a little bit difficult. Now, that being said, it is both of those things, but it's totally worth it. Yeah, having a dog is a huge responsibility, but if you are committed and responsible and willing, then you'll figure out exactly how to make it happen. So that's exactly what we've done Blanca is here in New Zealand, and um, so let's talk about how to move a dog overseas. When we decided to move to New Zealand, we knew that bringing Lanka with us was going to be somewhat difficult. And depending on where you're moving, it can be more difficult than others. But New Zealand has a lot of requirements, so we started about six months early, and that even wasn't enough time. So our first tip is to begin the planning process as early as possible. Even when people tell you that you're starting too early, I am a Virgo and I'm a planner, and so a year in advance, I was talking about how I wanted to start the moving process, and I got a lot of kind of raised eyebrows, like, why are you starting so early? But once we got to the end of the process, we realized that we could have easily started a year early and still have had still had things that we needed to do up until the very last minute. Depending on which country you're gonna be moving to, it's gonna have different rules and regulations and laws. And New Zealand is one of the strictest places in the world to import your pet. And that's because New Zealand is an island, they're rabies free, and a large part of the New Zealand economy is dependent on animals and agriculture. So they're very, very strict and stringent about keeping out diseases from around the world. And some of the lab work that you'll get done has to be sent out to specific places like the titter test or titer test. And that can take about two to three weeks to even get the results back. But if you start early, it makes it so, even if something goes wrong, you're, you have plenty of time. We thought that we were starting early by giving ourselves six months um, until our flight to handle all of the steps. And in retrospect, we could have started maybe eight months beforehand just to give ourselves enough time. At least doing the research, because that being said, there are tests that need to be done within a certain period time of time yeah. before you leave. It's not like you can get everything done six months early and then you're ready to go. There will be absolutely things that you have to do within two weeks of your pet's Departure. move date. Yeah. But at least you'll know on the grand scheme of things, like what's gonna be done, what you need to do. And For bringing Lanka to New Zealand, he needed to get some very specific shots. Pets coming to New Zealand will need shots against canine distemper, canine hepatitis, parvovirus, para influenza, bordetella bronchiseptica, canine influenza, and leptospirosis. Uh, and that does not include the titter test, which is also necessary. So, like we've been saying, there are specific time frames within which all of these vaccinations need to happen and these test results need to be presented. You have to go through a 
specific veterinary office. Specific certification through the ASPCA. And the USDA, yeah. the US Department of Agriculture. You have to go through a pet relocation company. We didn't really realize that that was a requirement. If you are bringing your pet to New Zealand, yeah. you cannot import a pet by yourself. You have to go through a government approved company. Um, there are lots of them. So a quick Google search will just bring up tons of different options. If you're gonna be bringing your pet in with Air New Zealand, you can go to their website and check out the accredited companies that they use. Using one of those companies is just gonna make that whole process a lot easier. We found the company that we used through a Facebook group that was specializing in Kiwis coming home. Now, we don't really want to recommend the name of this specific pet relocation company, specifically because one, it wasn't everything we wanted it to be. There were a lot of bumps along the way, and so we wouldn't recommend them completely. They did get Lanka to New Zealand, but we also don't wanna throw any businesses under the bus either, so we're just not gonna mention the name. You're all probably thinking, this must be expensive. And the answer is, it is an investment. Moving countries in general, there's going to be costs involved. Mm -hmm. Moving people to another country. Moving stuff, moving animals, mm -hmm. everything starts to add up and the whole process can be quite expensive. But as a New Zealand citizen and as an American, we got married and we just decided like we want to live in New Zealand. We were willing to put the investment up front for our future. So if you are moving countries and you have a pet, it's a really important decision. The plans that you make regarding importing your pet will probably end up changing and that's just part of this. Initially wanted to have Lanka leaving um, a couple of days after us. It did not work out like that. There was a delay with one of the shots and that actually pushed back Lanka's departure date by nearly three weeks. <laughs> Luckily, my parents who live down in San Diego offered to watch Lanka and to take him to his last veterinary appointment and to drop him off at LAX for his flight to New Zealand. But while we were in our managed isolation, we got some pretty scary news. Air New Zealand, starting on February 1st, would not be taking pets due to the COVID pandemic. So there are currently pets who aren't able to fly with Air New Zealand right now to make their way into New Zealand. So if you are one of those dog or cat owners who are dealing with that, I am so incredibly sorry and I feel for you because we dealt with that in quarantine. Luckily, we were able to figure it out at the last second. Because the alternative would not have been good. The alternative was like a five day trip uh, with layovers through Dubai, right kind of in the last week of January. The airline made this announcement and we were able to change his flight. And the reason why we ended up being able to change his flight a little bit earlier was because you're not even going to have his flight booked until the last couple the of days. The very last second. So we hadn't even booked the February 3rd flight. And so then when we heard this news about this switch, we were like, okay, well, let's get him in two days earlier because this cutoff is going to be right before. And luckily we were able to get his final shot appointment moved mm -hmm. up, which allowed us to move his flight up by a few days and to get him on the last flight before the cutoff. It's hard. Yeah. It's going to be hard and you're going to feel, you know, stressed out. Yeah, stressed out. So let's talk about the quarantine. When your pet arrives to New Zealand, they will have to undergo directly from their landing. They have to be transported to a government approved quarantine facility. We chose a facility called Pet Haven, came highly recommended, and we are more than happy to recommend Pet Haven as a solid option. They will transport your pet from the airport after the border control and vets there, and then they will be placed into a 10-day quarantine. It sounds much harsher than it is. Uh, Lanka had his own room that was connected to an in inside area with an outside area that had sunshine 
and he was able to kind of go in and out, back and forth. We got photos. We called every, maybe what, three days yeah. to just kind of check in. I think it's really important when you're dealing with these things too, you know what your pet can handle and what your pet can't handle. We're lucky in the sense where Lanka's extremely independent and he's also very comfortable around other people. Honestly, on a normal day, Lanka will sleep for like 18 hours a day. And he's quite self-sufficient, so we weren't worried about leaving him for that 10-day period. Yeah, and also remember, Lanka flew from Sri Lanka to America at four months old. Yeah. And did it perfectly fine. Yeah. He took a red eye about 13 hours. Had but some cocktails, yeah, you know, yeah. ate some peanuts. Ginger ale. Yeah. The lady at the quarantine said that he travels brilliantly. A lot of people get very concerned when you say that your dog is flying cargo. The live cargo transport in a plane is climate controlled. It's the same temperature as in the cabin. Mm -hmm. There's fresh air down there. It's dimly lit so the, you know, the animals can rest and go to sleep. And I don't know about you, but when I get on a plane and they turn those engines on, I'm asleep like 15 minutes later, so. But while Lanka was in quarantine, Carrie and I did a little road trip. We drove up to Mungafai Heads, which is a beautiful little town. We're staying in this epic little Airbnb, kind of like farm stay vibe. About an hour and a half north of Auckland. It's a surf town. It's got gorgeous beaches. We actually met up with um, Carrie's friend from high school who married a Kiwi who's a beekeeper and he showed us the ins and outs of making Manuka honey and that will be coming in a later episode um, but I just figured we'd, we'd let you know that we did that and then we got a Airbnb in Auckland and the morning of Lanka's release arrived we saw a beautiful sunrise and next thing you know we're in the car driving on our way down and let's just take a look at how that day went. Oftentimes, viewers have told me that Auckland has worse traffic than Los Angeles. I found that hard to believe until this morning. It's taken us probably about 20 minutes to go, maybe two blocks. Good morning, Pet Haven, Jane speaking. Hi there, Jane. My name is Alex, and I'm calling uh, about my dog, Lanka, who's completing his... Lanka, yes, yes. yes. He's um, had his um, release inspection, the NPO vet's here now, um, and he's just writing up a manual release for your boy. So. Oh, that's great. That's great Yay. news. Good yeah. to go. Happy days. <laughs> I don't know if it's the coffee, or if it's the flat white, or if it's the water I drank, or the fact that we've been in the car for like an hour and a half, or if it's seriously the fact that I'm just so excited to see Lanka, but I feel like I'm gonna pee myself. But I think it's a <laughs> combination of all of those things. <laughs> don't pee yourself, you can make it. <laughs> He's 18, we're 18 minutes away from picking him up, so everybody's like really, uh, excited to see if we've got him yet, but yeah, we're we're only about 15 minutes away. Next level. We have arrived. Nice spot. It's beautiful. Look, it's his crate. He traveled in. You got the leash? Yeah. Hey there. Hi. How are you? Yes. yes. Hi, I'm Jen. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Nice to meet you. Are you a little bit excited? Yeah, yeah. we're so excited. <laughs> we've, we've paid. We've got the crate in the car. Here comes Lanka. Okay. I'm gonna find me a way. Tell the things I know. I'll never be the same, I'm gonna find you 
Thank you so much. You have a great day, okay? Well, if the world First P in freedom. Please tell me when, my friend, I'll pack the dreams that I have and get another plan. I'm gonna do what I say and they'll be afraid I'm gonna find me a way I know. Find me a way I know. Well, we're just out front of the facility right now and he's got his first little taste of freedom here in New Zealand and he's a happy boy. Yeah, so <laughs> thank you for the cookies. He's a good boy. Aww. You did so well. Oh, thank you. You did so well, little So guy. good. So proud of you, little one. So proud of you. I can't begin to tell you guys how good it feels to be reunited with our dog and just to see him trotting around, sniffing, peeing, running, smiling. We're so grateful to have him here with us and uh, we're just you know really happy today it's such a good feeling to be reunited with with your pup after you know over a month and honestly quite a lot of uncertainty about the whole process but he's here and he's with us and it's just good to be back with our pet The kind folks over at Natural Hound have sent Lanka a brand new bed. Oh, get in your bed. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh my god, he's smiling so big. Yeah, you're happy boy, huh? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, well, we all hope that you enjoyed that video. If you're moving abroad with your pet, we hope that you found it useful. And if you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down in the comment section um, with your thoughts on Lanka's journey and... If you are deciding to make this huge step, I send you all of the patience and... <laughs> best of luck. <laughs> yeah, best of luck. It can be done and it is the best feeling in the world. We keep looking at Lanka going, I can't, can't believe, believe he's here. here. <laughs> so it's so worth it. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Carrie's channel too, and you can find all three of us on Instagram, at Alex the Vagabond, at Carrie Rad, and at Lucky Lanka. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, Lanka's ready to go. Like, Later. Bye.